today I'm going to show you how to make the final part of the Isabella costume. So start by getting yourself an old pair of black boots. I'm using the pair that goes with my Scarlet Witch costume. You just want to measure around the top of the boots and add half an inch to that measurement. And then measure around your thigh and add an inch to that measurement. Then get yourself some fake black leather. And the stuff is nice and stretchy. You can find it in Joann's next to the pleather. And then cut a piece where the top of it is the measurement of your thigh plus one inch and the bottom is the measurement of the boots plus half an inch. And so once you've got that cut, just flip it over so it's wrong side up and cut another piece of the fake black leather that's three inches wide and as long as the thigh measurement across the top. And you just want to sew it across the top so that when you unfold it, the two sides will be different. So here it is once I've got it sewn across the top. When you unfold it, one side is right side up and the other side is wrong side up. So when you flip it right side out, you get yourself a little flap, which is what we want. Then fold it in half so the bottom piece has the wrong sides out. And you just want to sew along the side, not the top flap, just the bottom part with the wrong sides up. Sew that together. So here it is once I've got it sewn. And then just flip it right side out. And then when you flip down the top flap, all of them are right side out and you've got your little top of your boots flap. So then you get yourself four big buckles and cut four strips of the fake black leather and cut a little slit in the strips and that will serve as the buckle hole. So you can just slide that through there and then you're just going to sew two of those onto each of your little boot sleeves there. Just like that. And so then you just slip that on your leg put on your boot and then fold that down over the boot to give you some nice thigh high boots and the nice thing is because it's just fabric at the top you can bend your leg really easily and it's comfortable so then for the necklace I got a bunch of old buttons and I painted them metallic gold and then I just threaded some wreath wire onto the backs of all of them And some of them had buttonholes that I threaded through as well. So once I had enough to make a necklace, I put some jelly cord on the end. And I just tied that off in a knot so it'll be stretchy enough to just throw that over my head. And so the two biggest buttons I saved for the earrings. And I don't have pierced ears, so I'm just using the clip-ons, but you can use hooks if you have pierced ears. And then just thread a little wire through the buttonholes. Give those a few twists on the back side and threaded that around the clip on part. And if you're using real hooks, just thread it through the bottom of the hook part of the earring. So then I've got my two little earrings. And then for the gloves, I just use the Scarlet Witch gloves, which the back side of those are cut out. Um, but if you don't, if yours aren't cut out, then you can add the designs that Isabel had on hers. And so for the arm guard, I just used uh, the one from my Anakin Skywalker costume. She also had a lot of arm armor, but I chose not to do that, just to keep it simple. Do you even know how to use those? Yeah. Poor chance going to the other man. Ugh.